Wait, 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 wait. hold on. Doug. I'm, I'm do waiting you... for you to say when to start. <laughs> oh, well, all right. Yeah. Before, before or, I say start, just, can you... Or is it just start can, whenever? Can you imitate the lady from the black market? Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> he know he knows what I'm talking about. No, I am not doing that voice again. <laughs> Damn it! That would have been funny as fuck. All right, go Take ahead. Start the confidence from that and apply it to the intro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Start. Oh man. All right. What is up, my guys? It is Doug, and this is the Toddcast podcast. Which is rated five stars by Suck My Dick Doug, who said, Suck My Dick Doug. Thank you, and send me your number. Anywho, <laughs> I'm here with Sparky. What's up? Ollie. Hello. And our special guest, Evelyn. Hello. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Welcome, welcome. Good job. Yes. I don't know if my mic can pick me up clapping. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Yeah! Doug! <laughs> anyway, uh, so <laughs> Evelyn, tell us a little bit about yourself. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, my name's Evelyn. <laughs> I'm a sophomore in college, and Ooh. I'm going to school Interesting. for music production. Ooh, another musician. And, yeah, I'm a singer. I sing things. Um, so, don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> we all sing in the shower sometimes. Some better than others, you know? Stop calling me out. That's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet it's, I bet it's beautiful. Uh, Ollie, Ollie, give us, a, give us a demo. Oh, yeah, oh, Ollie, no. give us no. a demo. No, it is not happening. <laughs> I bet you would do it for Phoebe. I want to hear well, it, Well, you're though. not Phoebe, are you? <gasps> That's unfortunate. But babe, come on. <laughs> come on, boo boo. <laughs> I will rip out your ribs and wear them as a crown. <laughs> oh, wow. He'll that do it too. Thing. He'll do it too. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, Evelyn, you are a singer. Uh, oh, well, first yeah, off, before I, that. before I, yes, before I ask this question, um, each episode of the podcast uh, is revolved around a theme or a word, and I figured the this week for you, the word would be passion. Oh, fun! Because you take you like you put a lot of passion into your music. I've heard it on Spotify. I'll also link that in the description. Um, then I'll say what it is at the end of the podcast. But you put a lot of passion into. Like what you make. Um, I'd like to know like what your thought process is for like each song, how you like figure out the lyrics and uh, the beat and all that. I currently I've never produced my own beats. Um, I find them like on YouTube by some really great beat creators. Um, and then from I have like this huge, huge playlist of all the beats that like I really liked or thought like of ideas when I listened to them. And I keep, like, a whole playlist of them, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll choose one, um, or I'll start with words. Sometimes I'll start with, like, sometimes it's even, like, a color of a shirt I was wearing or uh, like, uh, something I saw or, like, um, something someone said. And I'll, like, keep note of it. I'll, like, write it down in my phone notes or I'll, like, sometimes I'll just sit down and write a whole song, which I love when that happens. But um, it definitely comes from places people you don't really expect. Like it just um, it it just like appears out of thin air. It's just like, oh, my wall's blue. Oh, I'm gonna write a song about a blue wall. Oh, I'm gonna write a song <laughs> about a blue whale. Oh my god, it's a skull. It's just like it definitely develops um, differently every time. But mostly, like, what's the coolest thing about songwriting? I think is when inspiration hits and you just know what the song sounds like. You know what I mean? Like you know where it's going and you right. know where it's starting. And I think that's like the coolest thing with songwriting is even if you have that plan in your head, you can change it and like edit it and make it your own. Mm, all right. So, yeah. Um, now, what do you think, um, like, since uh, you write lyrics for songs, um, is it, 
is it it like super difficult like sometimes when you're or like you try you're like you're sitting at your desk or wherever you you go to write your music and like you get a writer's block how do you usually get past that i think writing lyrics is one of the hardest things ever (laughs) in general because oh i can imagine like it it honestly is (laughs) especially with um with rhyming or like whatever song sure you want to use like it might not say exactly what you want it to say in the end which is really frustrating. Like you, you have to kind of sacrifice some of like, oh, I want this to be this line rather than this line, but then it doesn't sound right, so you have to change it or find like. Um, I always have a thesaurus. Yeah, I was <laughs> really I was about helps. to say I was about to say like because I guess writing lyrics for a song it's kind of it, like poetry. Like you you need it to rhyme, but some of the it, words don't rhyme and you gotta look up like hey what's uh what's what word can i use that's based off of this word that rhymes with this other word yeah i sometimes oh this is also a good tip um i start with a word bank sometimes oh if i want to get a certain vibe i'll like i'll get a few certain words and then i'll find words that rhyme with those words right and make myself a little word bank all right. Because, um, yeah, that's how I that's initially started. Actually. That's a really good yeah. um, way to start off. So my I've always like I've like always had the question in my head, like how do EDM artists like write lyrics for their songs or like get other or um, the person who sings in the song to write the lyrics for their song? Like, I bet that's I, mean, I bet that's got to be like absolutely mind blowing and super difficult to like think of lyrics for an EDM song. Well, because most EDM songs like they'll just take like little snippets of songs and just remix them. Yeah, sometimes like, like there yeah. like there is there is artists that actually like you know they collaborate and like one person does the lyrics and whatnot, but um but I feel like most of the time it's they take snippets of songs that already exist, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, and sometimes like, it is remixes. Yeah, like, that's a remix. Or like sometimes like quotes from like games, like um, or like memes, you know. Like oh yeah. Something. Hey, freaking Subtronics and uh, Midnight Tyrannosaurus. Midnight T is always getting something from video games and Rick and Morty and Subtronics just makes weird, wacky music like duck sounds. Well, I'm talking like, uh, I'm talking like Meme Graveyard. Oh, yeah. Like that. Oh, that's such a good song. That's such a good uh, song. But yeah, if you want to hear it, there are like, there's like a certain, there's more song structure stuff to EDM yeah. music. Like, yeah. um, with i don't know if you guys know tritonal tritonal um but they have um when you're writing an edm song there's different aspects to it other than like verse chorus you have like the drop the break the um there's like a bunch of different terms for it but when you're writing lyrics um it really depends on the artist but they might only have lyrics in the chorus they might only have lyrics in the verse they might have lyrics at um, the drop throughout the yeah like throughout like the drop or the break or like it really depends on the artist but i've seen in the past that there's like a opening verse and then a chorus and then it's just kind of keeps building off of that throughout have the you, entire thing have any of you guys heard the song overthinker uh by enzo by? Mm-mm. No. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll show you guys after this, but um, it, it is a good example about the lyrics and stuff like that. I think like <clears throat> like um, uh, it's really cool. Oh, like when uh, like how oh, uh, Tom McDonald uh like paid uh Eminem to like make a beat for him for or just that one song. No, to... it, was, it wasn't. It, he didn't. He didn't buy it off of him. Uh, Eminem made the track, and then there was a. Then they. Uh, they were bidding on it. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, it was like an auction. Oh, is there like a? Is there a? Uh, how did the process go? Like, I, well, I'm obviously sure. he made the I beat. Just, so. I just know. I just know Eminem made the beat, and then he was selling it, and like there was an auction held for Why would he who was going to be able to. I don't know. He's just like, hey, I'm gonna make this beat and then I mean, throw it away. People... <laughs> okay, so wait, you guys know like 
um, beat makers and stuff, how, like, they sell their beats online. Yeah. yeah. So I, I guess it's kind of like that. Like, artists, even ones that make their own music, can make a lot of money writing music for other people. Especially, um, have you guys heard of, I mean, One Republic? It's a yeah. Band. yeah. Um, their lead singer writes music for Ed Sheeran sometimes. I, I, I did know about that. I do know about that. Yeah, mm. I remember that. But yeah, people can make a, like, crap ton of money um, writing music for other big artists, even if they're not, if they're, like, not going to use their song for themselves. Like, oh, yeah, he wrote this song for, um... What was that like really big band that just came back with like a song and oh like the wasn't it like the Jonas Brothers? Oh God, what? that one was that one was written by One Republic too. Wow. So, One Republic yeah, oh has made God. so much music for What's other that people. Song? Yeah, he, their lead singer is fantastic. Uh, he's like one of the best artists I've ever like seen in, in, in like live. Mm. like situation and like he's wow his vocals are phenomenal his music skills and writing is like so good so musically intimidating dude i like, think i think uh because i've seen i've seen train multiple times uh mm -hmm. with with my mother <laughs> of course train um, is such a big oh my god they're dude, I love extremely train. musical intimidating like oh every yeah song that they play you just recognize it's like uh what oh yeah yeah <laughs> oh, man, um dude i i love fucking jamming out to 50 ways to say goodbye oh yes yeah. see the my favorite song by them is um is uh oh fuck i i haven't i haven't listened to train in so long i forgot my own favorite song uh, oh drops of jupiter yeah drops, drops of, of jupiter is my favorite is gorgeous i remembered that song that um one Republic wrote for the Jonas Brothers. It was a uh, 2019 sucker. That one, I believe oh, it was. I, I, I mean, I correct me if I'm wrong, that. but I think it is One Republic that wrote that song. <laughs> uh, th this might this might sound a bit cringy, but like I've recently gotten on a 30 Seconds to Mars trip. Ooh, hmm. haven't heard them in a minute. And like right now, my favorite song by them is uh, "This Is War." Hmm. Nice. I think we should wait. Should we like go around and say who our favorite band is right now? I'm down. I other than other than like EDM artists, other yeah, than are we, are like we, normal. Are we talking like artists or bands? Band. Band. Okay. Mm. Let me look through my goddamn playlist. Really <laughs> yeah. I can. I think... Yeah, I can go first if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Um. So recently. I think I found them through TikTok initially, but then I fell in love with all of their music. Um, but Beach Bunny is, like, my favorite band right now. I think that they deserve so much more popularity than they have. Oh, I And they, like, uh, the way I describe it is it's, like, modern angry girl music. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, like, um, if you guys have seen um, 10 Things I Hate About You, uh, it's kind of like I that. Band, I've seen it. I haven't that. watched it. But yeah, like it's it's super. I love their music and I love their lyrics. And their latest EP called "Blame Game" is fantastic. So, hmm. Top ten recommend. Fair enough. Top ten recommend would smash. <laughs> ten out of ten would smash again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Ollie, you want to go? What's your favorite band? Iron Maiden. Ooh, oh, haven't heard a good, good Iron Maiden in so long. Damn, I love Iron Maiden, dude. As far as rock goes, uh, I love Iron Maiden. Like, it, like you can't mention Metallic. Like, in my opinion, you can't mention Metallica around me without without me bringing up Iron Maiden. <laughs> I mean, I mean Iron everyone Maiden, associates dude. those two, though. I mean, it makes sense because. I mean, it does make sense in my head why because like Iron Maiden is amazing. The same genre, and, you know. Yeah, Metallica is pretty great too. They have very like, um, they have the same sort of feel to their songs as well. So, yeah. fair, fair. Go ahead, All right. Um, um, I really like. Um, oh, what was the? Hold on, uh, I'm looking through my artists now 
It's it's I I've been like binge right. listening to EDM. So all right, fine. I'll I'll go. All right. So I'm not sure if I I know I've shown Sparky a couple of their songs, but Citizen Soldier. Oh. They are like all of their songs are like really like deep and like they hit me on an emotional level nice i think i've i've heard of them for sure i don't think i've listened to them yet oh yeah they're they're new i think their most recent album is relentless yeah that was 2019 why am i still yeah. following cool. icp hell no Uh, maybe down the rabbit hole was next, but or the most recent one. But um, Relentless is the album that got me in love with them. Okay, I I found my favorite band because uh, this was my first concert and I absolutely fell in love with their music. Green Day. Oh, Green Day! Always. I freaking love Green, Green, Green Day. Day was my Green first Day concert great. ever back in two thousand nine when I was ten years old. My parent, Dude. my parents took me, and uh, my mom. You know what's funny? Uh, when they were singing "Boulevard Broken Dreams," Billy Joe, oh, um, he uh, he started unzipping his pants, and my mom like made me walk away <laughs> uh, because of that. Listen, and then any Green Day song, what would it be? Me? Yes. That's a very difficult answer. Um. I, I know I know my favorite Green Day song. I'd for me I'd I'd have to say um, Jesus of Suburbia because that was that was always that's always been my favorite. It's one of their longest songs, but it like hits really deep. So okay, but like Brain Stew. <laughs> brain Stew. I was gonna say Brain Stew. <laughs> brain Stew is bomb as fuck though. Bro, I okay. I Dude, forgot okay, if okay, Brain okay, Stew is on Beat song, Saber though. though. I forgot if Brain fun Stew is on Beat Saber. Fun fact about that, actually, uh, when I was in orchestra, we learned to play Brain Stew. Oh really? That's yeah. Amazing. Wait, you were in orchestra? Yeah, I played the violin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why was I today years yeah, old when I, I found I out about this? this but I don't remember this. I don't remember what this. Play? What did you play? He said violin. Yeah, he I played, played violin. violin. I'm played so great. jealous. I wish I could play any string instrument, dude. I mean, I haven't played in years, but I. Yeah, I might I pick up. Do. I might pick up guitar again. Do it. I might. I probably will. Full send. I'm thinking of picking up piano, dude. Ooh, do I've it! been I've been wanting to learn I piano see. though, but I never really have the time. I'm stuck either at work or doing YouTube or all that. <laughs> Well, all right. See, like, I... like oh. if I get if I get like a keyboard, like then I can like bring it to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just be like. Uh, beep, beep, uh, beep, 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 I recently like rented a drum kit because I want to learn how to play the drums. Ooh. I play. And oh. it's like ooh, it's it's interesting because it's an electric set. So oh, it's, so it's ooh, not it's weird. It's, it's not it's not as uh euphoric as having like an actual drum set in front of you i really want to get my own acoustic set someday but this is really good for like learning and stuff so. yeah i remember back in uh back in middle school i was in uh i was in band and uh i was on i was on, i i played the drum and the xylophone but um they just had me on one drum and it was kind of it was kind of depressing because i wanted to learn <laughs> all the drums but i just had like one fucking drum <laughs> I was just like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> but uh, those I remember so many times, like when we were doing concerts for schools, uh, I messed up so much, and I just hated oh. myself afterwards. <laughs> no, because they they said, "All right, if you miss a note, don't go back and replay it. Just keep going." And I, yeah, me being me, being OCD, I'm just like, I need to replay this note. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, uh, moving forward, um, passion, Ollie. Well, Evelyn, we know. Oh, you're passionate about your uh your music and uh singing. Um, mm -hmm. Ollie, what are you passionate about? What am I passionate about? I swear to God, if you say your fiance, because that's 
It's not, mean, well, that's not the answer we're looking sex. for. We already know, bro, and that is games. I am super passionate about games. That's fair. That's fair. But aren't we all? Well, <laughs> like, I've, like, let's, let's, like, I've let's, told... let's avoid the obvious ones. Like, go, like, deeper. deeper go, yeah, go deeper. deep, deeper. Go deep. dive off the deep end. Well, I've always wanted to like. It's always interested me to like build a game from the ground up. You know, like everything like one like to do it all by myself like now, coding and artwork sounds, like crazy like, to do game like, yeah. creation yes that's cool yes. i want to ow. i want to create the greatest game and i know that's like a bit freaking empty. do it i'm going to but make, that's make that requires me to make a game first right Cause well don't you have do you have the do you have the uh, programming equipment to do that because i because you went to school no. for it Lamo. that didn't go well but you still, but you still, st you still have that knowledge, right? I mean, yeah, it wouldn't. It's it's not very hard to apply that knowledge either. Thankfully, so make a game. Do it, homie. What do you think? I've no, been no doing? balls. Is, like, no balls. Topic, but I'm. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm go really ahead. I'm really passionate about um, possibly writing my own musical. Like, oh, a, like a like a show like a show yeah like Ooh, uh, like a musical yeah. theater show because um, like Hamilton the thing with <laughs> the <laughs> thing with my university is they only do a show like every like three years because it's so expensive so I was like if they do Damn. a student made one then they don't have to pay for all the royalties and stuff because it's already ours right so I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna write a musical I'm gonna freaking do it. Well, if people if people were to it, pay to go see that, what chunk would you get out of it? Like, what percentage would you get out of the total um, profits from that musical? I don't know. I think, um, I mean, I'm going to talk to my friend right now. I'm in her dance show. And I recently, like, started dancing again, which has been really fun. And, like, she wrote the dance show. So she choreography show, so choreographed everything. Yeah, she choreographed everything, came up with the idea for it, like, it's her show. And so I'm going to talk to her about, like, how much she's charging for tickets, how much she's getting, and stuff like that, and I'm going to, like, base it off of that. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, All I'm right, super uh, excited. This summer, I'm thinking of starting it, so. Nice. Yeah. Doug. Lee, what's up? Your turn. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, shit. I mean... <laughs> I, I I do love to sing, honestly, uh, but uh, um, but I'm really I'm really. What's always interests me is, is psychology and like therapy and stuff like that, because um, I like picking at people's brains. <laughs> and and uh, like Spark, you can attest to this. I I'd be a very good therapist. Honestly, you yeah, would like I, could I see that. back in back in high school. I well, I mean. We had our troubles back in high school, but like now, um, we like we go to each other for our problems. Indeed, Ooh. indeed, we do. Yes, but yeah, no, I I just really, I I've always been interested in learning on how the brain works and how the brain like handles trauma and like what causes our brains to subconsciously like, uh, remind us of said trauma when we're trying to move past it. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it, it just really interests me because it's our bodies are strange things. Yep. That they are. That they are. Go ahead, Spork. Well, obviously, I'm very passionate about YouTube and um, no, <laughs> no, really, um, <laughs> but uh, it, like I said this in the last podcast episode, uh. That, um, like, PewDiePie was the first YouTuber I ever watched, and that, like, he, I started watching him when he was at, like, 200k, or 500k, I can't remember which one, but, um, I like, where, Black Ops one days. yep, yep, um, but, uh, like, back then, like, I started my own YouTube channel, very, very, very dead channel now, um, but I still, I still like had the passion and motivation to do it. 
Um, it wasn't very good, but um, <laughs> it's all it's always been my dream to like make people laugh and um, have fun, play games, and get paid for it, and be able to do something that I enjoy. And that's like I've always is wanted to live by the quote if. Um, it's not a job if you enjoy doing it. Um, but that's all. That's always been my passion was YouTube. Because it it, yeah. it 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 is it is like, possible. Yeah. It is possible. <laughs> a dream can come true if you work hard enough yes. for it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I I feel like I feel like because like a lot of us like to sing we have to at least like sing a little something yes freaking do it like like i want to i want to hear everybody individually sing you know oh god <laughs> wait what song um a. evelyn do one of your you songs want? one of my songs yeah oh yes oh dear well, I mean, while I'm vibing with this, I my EP is coming out on the 28th. Hey! That's the same and day more episodes of Lucifer is coming out, bro. <laughs> oh, that's great. And, yeah, I'm super excited about that. And I guess I could sing something from that. Like a sneak peek? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. We, got a, we got a preview. First time, <laughs> first time. Wait, someone else go first. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Doug, go. I know you're pretty good. Uh, okay. Um so I'm going to sing a bit of uh a song called White Flags by As Lions. Uh um, Are you going to play the uh the instrumental from YouTube? Uh no, I'm just going to like go off of the uh lyrics. Oh, okay. Um Okay, here, I'll just start it from the beginning. Fuck this <laughs> shit, man. All right. Turn the lights out. Follow me to the edge now. Take your dreams and shut the world away. All you need is faith. The right time. To do our time no different We get outside and the words of voice and say Seasons change, the world is ours to take White flags over the mountains Lost out on good advice They'll give up on what you know is worth the price can you ever forget that nothing stays the same? White flags over the mountains, they will fade away. There you go. That was awesome. Yes! That was awesome. You know, it, Doug, I can imagine I can imagine Chase being in the other room. Like, what the fuck is he doing? No, that's probably <laughs> Brandon right now. <laughs> Chase is asleep. Oh. <laughs> well, you probably woke him up. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's got to be up soon anyway, so. <laughs> be like, all right, early wake up call. Early wake up call. <laughs> oh, gee. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the track just for like the starting pitch because I don't know what key it's in. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Oh, why is it not stopping now? That's great. Spotify's been on some okay. shit lately. Especially on the phone. Honestly, like, I sometimes it seems like when I'm trying to listen to my podcast, it just stops, and then when I yeah. press play, it, it plays, but it doesn't show, like, the pause button anymore. Yeah. Oh, no. And so now it's just, like, I can't stop this. Dude, I can't literally change same, it. You have to, like, close Spotify completely. Sometimes I'm having to, like, uninstall and reinstall it. Oh, damn. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. I have my, my song. All right. Let's so, hear it. This let's is hear the it. first song on the EP. Don't judge me too harshly because I did not warm up today and I have not sung at all. Hey, man, that, that was my first time so. singing today, too. So. 
I think this is all, all of right. ours and today, also, so. My mic is probably going to suck because I don't have a mic. I just have my computer, so it's fine. Mm, Do all it. Right. And this one's called Wallflower. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm not typically loud and I'm not typically proud. No, I go through my days. Each one feels the same and that's okay. I'll leave it up to them. That whole life thing seems great, but they've got it down. So I'll just stay in my corner. Though I wish it was a little bit bigger I don't know how to be noticed And I don't know how to be the focus of a room How could I be the one to put a where I walk into a room? I don't want the spotlight But a few pairs of eyes would be just fine I feel like I'm invisible Oh, am I going in circles? I'm not the most outgoing person But I can be excited, I'll oh, just you listen It's not over I won't be a wallflower Damn, holy shit! That was shit. amazing! Wow! <laughs> yeah, Damn, that was really good! That was awesome. That, you that have to great. listen to it now. When it comes out, you have to. I, I'll I will. Yeah, I'll I will. You know. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to send me the link, man. Yes. Yeah, it's only a few days away. Crazy. Mm, this Friday. Oh, my god. Yeah, gosh. four days. Yeah, it's coming out on the, the 28th. What time? Um, I probably at night oh. on the 28th. Or actually, I don't even know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I should probably know when it's releasing. I've barely done it, like it's I think gonna I've release. Been, like, that's all that matters. Pool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've been like in like a trance the last like month of like, oh, this is coming out. I still feel like it's coming out in like three months, but it's like, <laughs> four days. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, because it's it should be coming out. The well, it's coming out the twenty eighth. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it should be at night. So. So around that, six. Go check out if Evelyn's not, EP. I will figure it out, but yeah. <laughs> Woo! And also, um, all my music is under the stage name Evie. Yes. So, be warned. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I already follow you, so. Yep. Uh, link in the description. Wahoo! The link in the description! Link Check it out. You better the hit that link in the description. Yeah. I'll send you the, the pre-save link. Because that one Ooh. is oh, available man, man, man. already. Yes, please so. do. Pew, pew, pew. All right. Um, Spark or Ollie, your turn. Ollie, go! No. You have to. Do it. Man, you, you guys to. really want me to have a really big crown of bones, don't you? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, go yes, do it. it. Come on. Take my fear. Uh, <laughs> take my take fear. My... <laughs> please, please, no. Guys, please, no. Come on, man. Please, please, no. And then I'll send this straight to Phoebe. <laughs> yes. Sing a song for your love. The thing is, love like... Song. Do it before I do it for you. Serenade, serenade. <laughs> no. Freaking do it. Uh, please, no. No, please, I'm please. not in the mood please, to sing. Please, We're peer please. pressuring Ollie. We're peer pressuring Ollie. Yay. Ollie doesn't respond please. well to peer pressure. <laughs> oh, oh no, that laughed. asshole! He left us. Wow, How rude. All right, Spark, you might as well. All right, do it. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta pull up peer pressure. this song. Hold on. Peer pressure. <laughs> um. Let me, let me text him. <laughs> I'm trying to... Like, come back, we're not gonna make you sing. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Hold on. I'm looking on my true Shadow Dragon playlist. Oh, man. Hurry up. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm working on it. Hold on. Yeah, we're not trying to have... <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Give me a second. Wait, oh. you said he'll do it? Oh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> 
Uh, why do I do these things? Hey, Ollie! <laughs> Mm. Gotta get the coffee out of my throat. <laughs> and everyone, aggressive I, clapping. I, yes, aggressive clapping for getting courage to thing online. God, if I get like destroyed for this, Sparky, I'm going to make. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> no one, no one's gonna judge you, my guy. We're not, we're not a judgy group. No, you're right. You're not, but they are. <laughs> but they are. <laughs> they are. Um, we don't like to spread hate, okay? No, we really don't. Like we like to hate. spread positivity. I I, Plur! I don't even know what I want to <laughs> listen to right now. That's the thing. That's kind of why I didn't want to do that. Just, I just can't sing something sing. off the top of your head. Yeah, do a cappella. You know that thing where, like, you get put on the spot, you can't remember, like... A yeah. Oh, yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had to look up my oh, the only uh, my lyrics to my own song, so you can do it. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going through right, right now here. I do. Da -na 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 -na. Ooh, ooh, I know. No, it's been a while since I've listened to that one. See, I can't. You can I do can't. it. I can't. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I'm way too stoned for this. <laughs> you know what? That's the boy did awake and bake. Why I'm Dude, I, I'm high as it. fuck too. You're like, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I the only one that's not high? No, I'm not. Funny, I'm like, not. Oh. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not do, high gang. Do you <laughs> do you smoke, Evelyn? Uh, no. Uh, I actually have like um, my whole thing is if I'm a singer, I don't want to do anything. That's fair. Like that's that's honestly fair. So I've yeah, yeah, I've vowed to never smoke anything. So. Well, what about edibles? I've never tried. I mean, I mean, hey, edible edibles <laughs> are edibles do work. It's just they don't work as well as smoking. <laughs> But I mean, it's, well, the, it still that works. That depends on the edible. It, it still first works. Of all. Second of yeah, all, yeah, that is true. It it's, depends it's on how strong it is. Wait, wait, we're getting off topic. And <laughs> well, ah, it. Leave it to the guests thought. to make us stay on topic. <laughs> he thought. He thought. <laughs> every time. He thought that if we started talking about getting high, we would forget about. Noah, I don't want to YouTube by answering one question. <laughs> Okay, so this one is um, Blink-182. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Which one, though? She's out of her mind. <gasps> yes! Sorry, I love Blink-182. Okay, I'll shut up now. Um, <laughs> um, I can't promise that I'll even be on key, but here we go. Oh, it's been a while since I listened to this song. I said, settle down, settle down, everything's fine, take your eyes off the floor. She said, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not all right. I lost my head on the door. She said, eh, 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 antisocial, eh, 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 antisocial, eh, 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 and she's angel, yeah. I'm in deep with this girl, but she's out of her mind, whoa. She said, babe, I'm sorry, but I'm crazy tonight. Whoa. She got a black shirt, black shirt, and got a stuff in her head. I'm in deep with this girl, but she's out of her mind. And that's all you get. Ooh. That's one minute. Just about. Yeah. Good shit, Ollie. Oh, good. Um, uh. Good job, Ollie. All right. Okay. My turn. Sparky, is your turn. <laughs> yeah. We should all, right. all sing a sea <laughs> shanty. <No. laughs> yes! Alright. I can't promise this is gonna be good, but it's the best I could do. Uh, this is... This is, uh, Let Me Go by Three Doors Down. Hey. I love Three Doors Down. They're great. One more kiss could be the best thing One more lie could be the worst And all these thoughts are never resting And you're not something I deserve 
In my head there's only you now This world falls on me In this world there's real and make-believe And this seems real to me And you love me but you don't know who I am I'm torn between this life I lead and where I stand And you love me but you don't know who I am So let me go Let me go Anyone else have the beat of the song in their head while he was doing that? Ooh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. You're definitely... Oh, I think after hearing all of you sing, I think Ollie is like a baritone. I think that Sparky, you're a tenor. And I'm not sure... I don't know what you are. <laughs> I, I can I can do multiple uh, fucking keys. Octaves. Yeah, octaves. octaves. Yeah. So you're like, like you're like a big range, like I am. Like I like, can do on. like alto to soprano. Like here, I'll sing the chorus. Wow. Too. Well, well hang on, hang on. I still I still got a few more topics. <laughs> hang on. Well, hang on. Let's go on the topic of singing right now, right? Okay. <laughs> let me let me sing you the uh, the chorus to Wellerman. Oh uh, yes. Weller man. All right. Soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tugging is done, we'll take a leave and go. Yes. That was awesome. That's so good. Uh, yeah, I think you're just like a big. You have probably have a big range like me. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. I can go from I can go from like metal screaming to like from really uh, <laughs> to can I just can I just put this out there to the group as um those one dudes we need our own she Santy guys like, bro I'm thing. so I down we have one yet. Yeah, I'm we so down one. yeah we need to make one this is this needs to be a priority oh my god that would be like your intro song bro that'd be uh, fun yeah. it, well okay it, yeah. actually no yeah i don't have i just have like a like a build-up intro dude that'd be fucking lit that would be lit <laughs> okay um uh let's see All evelyn right, yes, let's move on uh here here's uh, a question i i thought last night um with your singing, have you ever or like considered beyond being on like a singing competition or something like The Voice or? I have, yeah. When I was like fifteen, uh, um, American Idol came to Denver. Ooh. And oh, I was fifteen. I was like this little tiny itty bitty thing, and I went to the auditions. Um, and I met like a group of girls around my age, and we were all in like the line, just like singing songs together and harmonizing. It was a really <laughs> cool experience, but then. How they did it was they had all, like, the booths set up, but they were outside, and, like, they were right next to each other. So I got up there, and I was in between this, like, con this like guy singing, like, a loud country song and this woman singing a loud gospel song, and I was, like, like freaking out. Aww. <laughs> and I completely butchered my song. So it and, threw like, you off? Was, like, yeah. yeah, she was like, um, yeah, not strong enough today, sweetie, and I'm like, okay, and I just left and cried. Aw, <laughs> damn. <laughs> That sucks. But it was pretty cool. I got to see the American Idol bus, and I'd been obsessed with that show for like my whole life. So it was it really is a pretty cool good to show. get that experience. Well, like, and oh, go ahead. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever try again. Like, but definitely on a different show because I don't really like how American Idol has changed throughout the years. Why not go on I the think Voice? If anything, I'd I'd do the Voice. I'd probably do the Voice instead. But yeah, I don't know if I'll ever do it. Probably after college because I want to get through school first all right so yeah cool um Wahoo. all right one more thing yeah, i'm uh, taking uh, good uh, voice lessons so yay <laughs> one more thing uh before we wrap up this is uh this is a group question um this, this has nothing to do with passion it's just like some weird <laughs> question that i thought about um what's something bad that you did back then uh that you regret back then but not now Oh, duh. 
Hmm. Dropping dropping half the people I talked to. Because <laughs> all they were were drama. Yeah. Like, I regretted it at first because I was like, now I have, like, no one to talk to. But now that I've grown up, I'm like, you know, that was probably the best thing I ever did. Yeah. Leaving we know where. Yeah. I really regretted that at first. But now that I look back on it, I'm like, that was... That was so great for me. That really helped me grow as a person. And yeah, like, now yeah, that I, I look back on it, dude, I never, ever want to go back there. Oh my god, dude, you you started becoming someone you like you hated. That was the whole reason why you left because you were turning into someone that it wasn't you. Yeah. Um, I guess I could go next. Uh. I I feel like back when I was in, like, middle school, I really regretted quitting dance um, because, like, I wasn't, I, I really didn't enjoy it anymore and I really wanted more free time and, like, I'm so happy that I did because, like, I did a lot of musical theater, like, I discovered my love of musical theater in high school and, like, I don't know if I'd still like be passionate as passionate as passionate as I am now of music if I had kept doing dance because it was just so much it was like seven days a week you're dancing and it's like had no free time like my only friends were dance friends and it was a lot and so I'm really happy and now now like I'm dancing again and it's really great and it doesn't it's not like monopolizing my life so so yeah always a good thing yeah all right, Spark. Mm. All right, this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be like hard for me to say, but um, I feel like because uh, I I was actually gonna get into this um, probably in the next podcast, but um, me uh, starting drugs, um, like I regret it back then. But I don't now because it was a major life lesson and, like, I went through so much shit with that and I wouldn't be the person I am now if I didn't start and is- and got clean um, almost a year and a half ago. Damn. Right. I'm very, uh... I, I'm I'm now like really open about it. It's uh it, it's something that I like want to talk about because it it feels good to like get it off my it's chest. In, it's to... in the past and you you've overcome it. Yes. So Ollie was there for my downfall, story. so mm-hmm. you must tell your story. Oh, I'll, I will tell it in probably the next podcast episode. Tune in next week. <laughs> yeah. For the downfall of us all. But um. <laughs> Uh, anyone the else have anything? Anyone else have anything they want to ask or say? Evelyn, you're you're the guest on the podcast. Do you have a question for all of us? Uh, a question? Yes. I mean, it, it could be any question, honestly. Like, like, what's your age? What's your favorite game? What do you like to do in your free time? <laughs> what do you do in your free um, time? Sleep. <laughs> this whole time, I've known like. I know Ollie's name, I know Sparky's name, but what? Who? what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, she's calling you out. Hey, man, I I mean, I, I'm bad with names, too, so it's it's all good. Uh, plus, my Discord isn't even my name, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, my name's Doug. Doug, okay. But yeah, I mean, I guess if I say could say anything, I'd say like like thanks for inviting me to this. Of it course, was really fun. Thank you for coming on. And like, yeah, it was it was really fun, and I like I love talking about music. So, yay! Well, maybe we'll uh we'll we have all, you again. Sick. We all got to sing a little bit, you know. Yeah, I was sick. I liked I liked hearing you guys sing. I want to hear Doug do a full <laughs> cover of Weatherman. Wellerman. Yes. Please. Oh, God. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, want I that get, full I, cover. I, I don't know all the songs, but I could pull up the lyrics and sing it for you guys after the podcast if you'd like. Maybe. I have to go afterwards. So sad. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a three minute disgusting. song. Yeah, we got three minutes. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. 
Do it. But I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I can't. Do it. <laughs> I mean, he said after the podcast. Oh, yeah, that that's right. Have to end it. So, okay. uh, I mean, we well, could end it with that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but. Um. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna wrap it up, right. Evelyn. Thanks again for uh, for coming on the podcast. It's really cool having you. Um, and uh, we will link your uh, Spotify. Um, any other uh, socials that you want to link? Um, I have like a link tree that I could send you. All right. That just has everything on it. So that works. Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> And not Facebook. <laughs> Nobody uses Facebook anymore. No. I use it to connect with my family. That's Definitely. pretty much it. Like, my grandparents use it, and that's it. That's fair. All right, I mean, well... It's, no, it's never good to give out your personal Facebook online anyway. Yeah. Mm-mm. All right, well, thank you all for coming to the another episode of the Toddcast podcast, and we'll see you all next week. Yay! Bye! Bye! Bye.